Good morning. This is the contemporary Philippine arts from the region's subject. Specifically in this video, I will present to you the pre-colonial arts or the ethnic arts. What were the arts before? Okay. So when we say pre-colonial arts, this is the term used uh, during, no? during the period of uh, period before colonization. Okay, so as it was known that our forefathers were just hunters, they hunt food for their survival. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, the forefathers hunted food and game that were shared among the members of the community. And then when they told stories about their experiences in hunting, okay, so this marked the beginning of literature, okay? So, ibig sabihin, informal yung mga arts before. When they, when they are telling the stories, then that was their form of literature, okay? So, uh, they also imitated the movement of animals as they hunted, okay? And it marked the beginning of theater or play acting, okay? When they imitate the movement of the animals. And then, when they learn to add drum, beating, and attach rhythm to it, this marks the beginning of music and dance, Okay, so now we go to the different uh, dance forms imitated from the movement of animals during the pre-colonial period, okay? So we have here the Pangalay dance in Sulu, okay? It is a mimetic of the movement of sea birds. Now, when we say mimetic, it is imitative. Okay, it imitates the movement of the seabirds. As you can see in the uh, action they perform in their dance. And then we have the Mandaya Kinabua, Banog Banog and Mamanok. Okay, it imitates the movement of predatory birds. Okay. These were the form of dances before colonization. And then we have here the talip dance of Ifugao. Okay, this dance was used for courtship. Okay, it imitates a mimetic movement of wild fowls. Okay, uh, talip dance in Ifugao. And then we have the Inamo dance, Matigsalogs and Kadaliwas dance, Tibuli, okay? This dance represents the comedic movement of the monkey, okay? As the term says, Inamo dance. So, monkey is known also as Amo, okay? So, Inamo dance, and then we have the very popular tinikling dance, evocative of the movement of the crane balancing, balancing itself on stilt-like legs or flirting away from the clutches of the bamboo traps. This is very common also until today, okay? We are still doing this form of dance. Now we go to the... Uh, famous artworks during the pre-colonial period. Okay, so we have here the uh, Bulul in Cordillera. Okay, look at the first picture. Bulul in Cordillera. Okay, a granary god that plays an important role in the rituals. Okay, it is a form of carving. Okay. Then we have the Hagabi in Ifugao, okay? It is a wooden wooden bench. And then the sculpture, the making of sculpture, the Santos, and the Okur, okay? Or the Intausog Samal 
Bajau, and uh, this is a mythical Sarimanok. And the last here is the Manunggol jar, the last picture, this one. Okay, the Manunggol. So it was discovered at the Manunggol cave of Palawan. So these were the arts, uh, specifically the carving during the pre-colonial times. Okay? All right, so we move on to the uh, next. We have the first was the carving, right? And then the second famous uh, work arts during pre-colonial is the weaving, okay? So we have here the textile weaving. So the first picture, it speaks about the peace shabit in Taosug of Sulu, okay? This is a head headpiece woven and in the second picture we have here the malong until now uh, muslims were very well known were very famous when we talk about malong okay it was of maranao of lanao del sur then we have the another form of weaving the mat and basket weaving okay so in the first picture we have here the tipo mat of sama of tawi tawi okay a double layered made from pandan leaves okay and then we also have the ovaloid basket of it bayat batani so these were the forms of weaving uh the mat and basket weaving during the pre-colonial times and we also have the ornamentation so during those times wearing of gold was already there okay so was already practiced rather so the the upper class of tagalog were wearing gold jewelry and and then we also have here in Visayan, we have um, the very famous during those times was the tattooing. And as you can observe, until now, tattooing is still uh, being practiced by many of the Filipinos. Okay, So it was believed to be to protect the individual from evil spirits. It is also a sign of bravery and maturity so as you can see that their arts before were still uh, some of those were still practiced as of this contemporary days okay all right so that would be all uh, this is a very short video uh, speaking all about pre-colonial uh, era Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video, I hope that you find this video relevant to your field. Okay, so thank you once again and God bless everyone. Good morning.